Hey, what's up, bitches? Today I'm gonna bring you another Pokemon Black and White Wi Fi battle here against Xenon3120. If you do not know who this fucker is, I suggest you click the link in the description on this video and go check him out. I mean, seriously, who doesn't know him by now? I mean, come on, he's the guy who, like, came up with the I get 6 key or so what, please. This is such a game. It is, and I just did that for the laws. Just kidding. Anyways, um, we got a standard OU match here. I got a Zorkly who disguised as my bitch today, which is oh, hell yeah, sweet stuff right there. And um, he's gonna set up rocks and get the explosion off, but this explosion doesn't kill me. I was like, holy shit, what the fuck? That wasn't even supposed to happen. I mean, I never expect Zorak to live in an explosion, so. He must have really got like, wow, really, really low minimum damage on that thing or something. Because fucking Zorox are freaking frail. I mean, damn, dude. What the fuck? So, he's going to bring his Flygon U-turn out into the Stormy. And I'm going to counter switch that with my Zapdos, a bird's a word. I will, I will, a bird, 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 and a bird's a word. Hell yeah. So, I'm going to go for the HP Grass, predicting his switch and a Flygon. And he does, which is awesome. Um, and I'm pretty sure he's, he wants to go for the Stone Edge here or Outrage, and I knew I would live both of those, so I'm gonna go for the Roost here just to restore all that damage back and just to stall him out. And after seeing Stone Edge, I'm pretty sure that he wants to switch because I he knows that I can stall him out all day with Zapdos unless he gets a crit. So I'm gonna go for the Discharge, predicting it switching to something else, and he goes into a Rotom. Which would have been nice if I got the Parax on that thing, but, you know, it's like, whatever. Um, it's only 30% chance, it's not 100, so I'm not expecting it to get it paralyzed all the time. So, I brain Swamper because I know the trick is obviously coming my way. I mean, why else would you brain a roll time on a Zapdos? I mean, seriously. So... He does go for the trick, and the reason why I let my Swampert take the trick is because, you know, Swampert is only good for setting up rocks and just do the roar shuffle and stuff. And he's a pretty good physical wall, but, um, you know, it's like, eh, whatever. Swampert can take a trick, and I think I'm gonna need Zapdos later on in the game. I can pretty much tell that. At the same Flygon, yeah, I'm definitely going to need him in the game. Um, so. I go for the Earthquake, predicting his switch into Starmie, predicting my Ice Beam, but he didn't, so that was quite unfortunate for me. So I have to brand Zapdos, and hopefully he can take the Shadow Ball well, and he does, which is great. But then he goes for HP Ice, I was like, holy shit, you almost fucking killed me. And, um, I live with 14 HP, which is like, damn, wow. I don't know how the hell that happens, I mean, seriously. Must have been another mid-damage, or that's... Or maybe I'm just really that bulky. So he's gonna go for HP Ice here again. And um, I'm just gonna keep reducing the damage off. Um, Cause I'm pretty sure that I can stall him out and stuff. And you. So I go for the Roost and um, I restore all the damage from the HP Ice. And um, I think he switches here. Yes, he does. All right, he switches and he's gonna go into his Flygon. Um, I'm thinking maybe the, um, I don't know, maybe the electric move or something, but, um, I'm thinking he really wants to kill the Zapdos now. So, he's gonna go for the Stone Edge. Um, he's gonna get a crit right there, which is actually kind of annoying, but it really didn't matter because, you know, Zapdos didn't die, and I'm able to roost stop all the damage anyway, so it didn't matter too much. So, um... He's gonna go for another Stone Edge here, and um, he actually got lucky. He had like um, four Stone Edges, actually. Yeah, he got like a lot of Stone Edges hits on me. So I'm pretty sure, you know, he's gonna stay in and do that. So I just keep on roosting. And um, here I actually predicted switch because I'm pretty sure after the pressure, he's only gonna have like two more Stone Edges left. And if he uses his um, if he uses it again that he's gonna be running out of stone edges and I'm pretty sure he doesn't want that so I'm gonna predict his switch he's gonna go in the heat trap and I go for the discharge predicting that and I was hoping for the parahaxes again but I don't get it because you know my luck sucks all right so I'm gonna brand Swampert um, just to take any fire move but he goes for the overheat and that actually takes me out so that just um, proves that he is specs I'm pretty sure he is um, cuz I'm pretty sure a normal heat trap except maybe life orb would not have killed my Swampert from, you know, half health. 
So I'm gonna bring in Lenny! Go, go, Lenny! And, um, I'm gonna go for the Dragon Dance, because I'm pretty sure Heatran can, can't do anything to me. But he brings in Flygon, and I'm thinking, hmm... Xenon always prefers speed over power. So I go into Metagross, predicting the Outrage, and, um, he does go for it, so that's pretty good for me. Because now he's locked on into it, and he can't switch out during the Outrage, so I can easily go for a Meteor Mash and take it out. Even if he did get the, uh, two turns, uh, you know, Outrage, I'm still uh, definitely going to take him out with a Meteor Mash, and he won't get a chance to switch out. So that's a pretty nice switch in for me, actually. Very nice prediction. And it was, um, Jolly Scarf as well, so that was, uh, pretty lucky for me that, um... I actually uh, switched into my Metagross to take the um, Outrage, otherwise Lenny would have died, and then, um, yeah, that would have been a different story, but, in comes his Gyarados, he went for the sub on my Explosion, which is like, um, damn you, Xenon, damn you, and, um, that kind of sucks, but I still have my Zapdos that can pretty count, pretty much counter uh, Gyarados pretty nicely, as long as he doesn't carry the Stone Edge and stuff. So he's gonna set up a sub. I'm guessing he's probably predicting my roost again. And um I'm not going to because I'm pretty sure at this point he doesn't have anything to take a discharge. Cause since now his flygon is gone, he doesn't have anything to take that. And uh, I'm pretty sure that he doesn't want like get his Pokemon a chance to get Parahax, you know? So he's gonna go for a bounce for some random reason. I don't know. Maybe that's his only move that can hit me, so I don't think he has waterfall. Um so he bounces me, he gets a crit, I believe, I believe he does get a crit, and, and it doesn't do a lot, but, you know, it didn't matter too much. So I'm gonna go for Discharge, that's gonna take out the Gyarados, and down he goes, so... Um, now he's gonna bring in Heatran out, and the crit might have mattered, because I could have lived this some um, Specs Dragon Pulse, probably not, so I'm not gonna argue. And, um, this Dragon Pulse will take me out, of course which kind of sucks, but that just leaves me to, to like, bring in my Cresselia here, which just, like, wow, this thing just, like, wrecks him so badly. I mean, it's not even funny. So, out comes this Rotom. I'm going to set up a Calm Mind here because, you know, um, I'm pretty sure that at this point, I see all of his team, and um, they're all special attackers, so as soon as I get, like, a lot of Calm Minds, I'm pretty sure he can't do anything to my Cresselia, so he's gonna go for the Shadow Ball. Um, I'm gonna keep up setting up with Calm Minds and um, just the rest of this video. This is just gonna be me, you know, just keep on setting it up and um, just taking out the rest of his team with um, Chris with Cresselia. So I'll see you guys till next time. Peace out and enjoy the vid, you bitches.